try some other examples of standard integrations. You are asked to integrate this. The square root here can be rewrite in the x power 1 per 2. The powers will be added up with 1. The new power as a division, constant remain, adding the c, rearrange the equations, you get this. To integrate this, it can be rewrite in the form of t power negative 3 per 4. The negative means that the t term is below. The 4 is for the root and the 3 is for the power. To solve this, the power here is to be added up with 1. The new power as a division, the constants remain and there will be a C. Rearrange the equations, you get this. Next, we try to solve this. There is a function within the function of square which can easily be expanded and there is only one term in the divisions. This can further be expanded into three terms. Divisions of all these three terms, you get this. The square root of this will give you negative 1 per 2 power. When this divided by the root, it will become 1 per 2. And when this is divided by the root, it will become 3 per 2. With that, you may integrate every single term separately. The powers to be added with 1. The new power becomes the divisions for the first term. The second term, the powers to be added with 1. The new power as a divisions, the constants remain. For the third term, the power add up with 1, the new power as a divisions, and there will be a C at the end of the expressions. Rearrange the equations, you will get this. Let us try these equations. It is dealing with cos, sine, secant and cosecant. This can be solved by referring to the table of list of equations for standard integrations. Cos, sine, secant and cosecant square. Adopt the formulas, you get these solutions. Cos Ax will give you 1 per a sine Ax plus c. Sin Ax will give you negative 1 per a cos Ax plus c. And integrations of secant square Ax will give you 1 per a tangent Ax plus c. And integrations of cosecant square Ax, it will give you negative 1 a cotangent Ax plus c. The final answers are given here. Let us try some other examples here. Integrating 4 epsilon 3x refers to the formulas or integrations here. The term will be divided by a plus c. The term will remain after integrations. With that, the term remain and the a here is to be put as a division plus c. As for these functions, it can be rewrite in the form of e negative 4t. The term will remain, the negative 4 will be as a division, the constants will remain and there will be a c. Rearrange the equations, you get the final answer. To integrate this, you can take out the constants. That means you are integrating 1 per x. Based on the formula here, integrations of 1 per x will give you long x. Therefore, 
the constant will remain 1 per x become long x there will be a c now we integrate this there is one term in the divisions which can be separated into two terms here we write the terms and you can integrate them separately for the first term the power is to be added up with 1 the new power as a division the constant remain for the second term 1 per m will transform into long n and there will be a c rearrange the equations you get this